Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today in Google Docs to talk about hyperlinks and anchor text. So let's say I want to add a link to an article to this study guide. So I'm going to go to, this, to the article. I'm going to go up to the URL. I'm going to click copy. I will then paste it in my Google Doc. Now, am I done here? Heck no. Couple things. One, if students have screen readers, then the screen reader reads this letter by letter. H T T. No, we don't want that, right? Additionally, when kids see or anyone just sees just this URL, it's this moment of like disengagement. They don't know what it is. It's not English language. So what we want to do is we want to make sure it hyperlinks. And then one more step, when we click on it in Google Docs, check out what happens. You're actually going to be prompted to replace the URL with its title. That is what it is. It's conspicuous to kids. We want kids to see that. So we click yes. And now it says, you know, was Napoleon Bonaparte an enlightened leader or tyrant? And it, you know, even has a little nice little preview here when you click on it. Um, you might even add a little uh, to the anchor text. Here. So in here, National Geographic Article. And then click apply. And so now it's even more conspicuous. Now, this works in Google Docs where you'll be asked to replace the URL with the title to have uh, anchor text, which is great, but it also works in slides. So if I go to my Google Slides and here I'm going to paste that same URL, I'm going to make sure it hyperlinks. And now I again am asked, do you want to replace the URL with the title? And yes, and there you go. And again, you can cut, further edit the anchor text as well, but at least you're being conspicuous and you're not kid, giving kids URLs. So just something to keep in mind, a quick little tip for your docs and your slides. If you have any questions about this, please comment below or tweet me at Tommy Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.